Light from the sun is called white light. White light is made up of different colours of light. A glass prism can be used to split light into its different colours, called a spectrum. The process of separating white light into its various colours is called dispersion. The orders of the colours in the spectrum are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. And to remember this, you can remember Roy G. Biv, and that will give you the first letter of each of the colours. A rainbow shows the visible light spectrum. As light enters water droplets in the atmosphere, the different colours of light are refracted by different amounts and therefore leave the water droplets at different angles, forming a rainbow. The different colours of light in the spectrum have different wavelengths. Red has the longest wavelength and violet has the shortest wavelength. And as the white light hits the glass prism, these different wavelengths of light slow down by different amounts and therefore as they come out the other side, that is why we see them in their separate colours. To see objects, light reflects off the object and enters the eye. But how do we see the ball as red? White light hits the red ball. The red ball absorbs all colours, so all wavelengths of light, except red, which it reflects. Now let's look at a blue ball. White light hits the blue ball, and the blue ball absorbs all colours of light, except blue which it reflects. And thinking of a green ball, white light hits the green ball. The green ball absorbs all colours of light except green, which it reflects. And red, blue and green are the primary colours of light. But you can mix these colours to get some secondary colours of cyan, yellow and magenta. And this diagram shows how you would mix the primary colours to get the secondary colours. So mixing red and blue light would give you magenta. Mixing blue and green light would give you cyan. And mixing green and red light would give you yellow. So if we look at the balls now as secondary colours, white light hits the magenta ball and the magenta ball absorbs all colours of light except red and blue, which it reflects. And as the red and blue enter your eye, you will see that ball as magenta. For a yellow ball, the white light hits the yellow ball. And the yellow ball absorbs all colours of light except red and green, which it reflects. And receiving red and green light, you would interpret that as yellow. And for the cyan ball, the white light would hit the cyan ball. And the cyan ball absorbs all colours of light except green and blue, which it reflects. Now let's think about how we see in black and white. First of all, a white ball. The white light hits the white ball. And the white ball reflects all the colours of the spectrum. And for a black ball, the white light hits the black ball but the black ball absorbs all of the colours of the spectrum. So you perceive that as black. In the final part of this video, we'll look at coloured filters. Filters only let certain colours of light through. The colour of the filter tells you what light will go through. So a red filter only lets red light through. And a green filter will only let green light through. So let's have a look how we would see a blue ball through different filters. So first of all, how would we see a blue ball through a red filter? The blue ball reflects blue light, but the red filter will only let red light through. So no light will be able to pass through the filter. So in this case, the ball would appear black. How would we see a blue ball through a green filter? Well again, the blue ball is reflecting blue light, 
but the green filter would only let green light through and therefore we would again see the ball as black. However if we had a blue ball and a blue filter the blue ball would reflect blue light which would be able to pass through the blue filter so we would see that as blue. Let's have a look now about a red ball. So have a think about how you'd see a red ball through these different filters and feel free to pause the video and then come back and see if you got it correct. So in the first scenario we've got a red ball and a red filter. So the red ball would reflect red light and that would be able to pass through the red filter so the ball would appear red. Through a green filter the ball would appear black and through a blue filter the ball would also appear black. How about when there's two different filters? So how would you see a red ball through a red filter and then a blue filter? Feel free to pause the video whilst you think about this. The red ball will reflect red light and the red filter will allow the red light to pass through. However, it will then hit a blue filter which will not allow the red light through. So the ball would appear black. And as a final example, how would you see a blue ball through a green filter and then a blue filter? So the blue ball will reflect blue light, but that will not be able to pass through the green filter. So the ball would appear black. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSCRevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.